My beloved child, I want to see you happy, vibrant, prosperous, and healthy. You have been steadfast through trials, demonstrating your dedication and loyalty to me. I began a work in you, and I will complete it, despite any obstacles or errors. I will take care of your adversaries and clear your path, but do not yield to menacing threats. Fear not those who seem powerful. I revel in demonstrating my love and power to you daily, and I will astonish you by unlocking doors to incredible opportunities, breaking the chains that bind you, silencing deceitful voices, and removing the insincere from your life. My presence is always with you and will never leave. You know that there will be days of problems and fatigue, but my promise remains firm. I am with you every day until the end, and if you come to seek me, do so by faith. If you must go through darkness, I will hold your hand and you will not stumble. If you walk through fire, you will not be burned. I love you with eternal love and have given you a special and secret name that only you and I know. I am bringing back to life all your forgotten dreams and projects. You thought your future was over, that your age meant no hope, and that you would always live in loneliness. But it will not be so. Hold on to my words and do not let go. I want you to live free from depression, without fear of illness or death. Let your eyes shine with a divine spirit, so that your family and those around you see you rise with confidence, walking toward your powerful destiny. My beloved child, I want you to have big dreams. Do not limit yourself because of past failures. Take some time and meditate. Go to the chest of memories and take out those dreams you had forgotten. Do not fear trials. Do not be afraid of pain. Nothing you face in this life compares to the glory you will one day experience at the side of your King and Lord. Let your heart not be discouraged if for a moment it seems you are facing failure. Trust in me for I am always with you. Do not let doubt drag you into the dark alley of insecurity, nor let fear limit your potential. You know I speak to you with sincerity and truth. Many times I have shown you, even in moments when everything seemed ruined, I extended my hand and rescued you, sent my angels to defend you, and saved you from defeat. In me you can feel secure and confident. In me you are destined to do great things. But do not lose your humility because if you lose it, pride will be your downfall, and you will not be able to see clearly the path I have set for you. Remember that humility will allow you to keep your heart receptive to my voice and guidance, and so you can achieve the desire of my will. Stay firm in your purpose and do not waver. Always remember that true greatness comes from serving others with love and compassion. Keep moving forward, son. Do not stop on your path, daughter. Go and conquer your city, your family, your surroundings, and all your dreams. Take what belongs to you by faith. Do not be afraid when problems appear as terrible giants or great storms. Remember, my spirit is upon you, and I have given you unique gifts and talents. Use them to do good and leave a positive mark on the world. Love your family, respect others, and be a beacon of light to those around you. You will hear me. You will feel me. I will keep embracing you tenderly and sweetly, telling you that I love you in an eternal, wonderful, supernatural way. Tell me you want to listen, that you want to feel it. Tell me you love me. Do not despair if today you feel bad or think you are not strong. I want you to listen to me, Open the doors of your heart to me, accept this sweet peace I give you, and take this time to rest your mind. I am the creator of the universe, and I command those winds that shake you to be silent, to keep quiet. You will no longer hear the whispers of the world's threats that aim to scare you, make your faith falter, obscure your progress, and cause you to discard all you have achieved. You think you are weak, but let me tell you something. Pay close attention. It is better this way, 
for you to realize your own strength has a limit and that you need me. With your faith and my power, you become invincible. With renewed strength, your spirit is indestructible, and with this word of faith, your weakness ends. You can confidently say, I am strong. You can walk with hope, and without stopping, continue until you reach this mountain where I am. Here I wait for you. This is the summit where your great desires can be fulfilled. Here, you will reach your dreams. This is the place and time for you to accept my will and let me work in your life. My beloved child, you've expressed feelings of unworthiness, but now it's time to trust and believe in me. I bless you not out of obligation, but out of sheer love. I am not here to judge or punish you. My gifts to you are forgiveness, understanding, support, and boundless divine love. This has always been so, remains so, and will always be so. Prepare to be amazed by what I can accomplish through you. I am with you every step of your journey, guiding you gently with patience and wisdom as we move forward together. You can't solve all life's problems in a single day, but I possess the power to shift the earth and alter your circumstances so that everything aligns in your favor. Don't fret about the future or lose sleep over things that haven't happened yet. You seek peace from me, and I grant you tranquility. Now, take a deep breath and calm your spirit. When challenges arise or urgent issues spring up around you, remember what to do. I have bestowed my peace upon you now, trust in my goodness. Raise your hands towards the heavens, and with the vibrant faith you hold, proclaim aloud, Thank you, my God, for your faithfulness. Let me hear your trusting words. My angels celebrate and worship when they hear your praise. The heavenly hosts sing, Glory to God Almighty, and all of creation pauses to listen. They know that I will reach out my hand, and as a loving Father, answer with miracles and wonders in response to your prayers. I promise to return to you many things that were lost, and some of them will come back multiplied. You will regain what the enemy stole from you. I want to bless you abundantly. Give me some time today in silence and on your knees. Let us discuss the days that lie ahead. I am bestowing upon you a beautiful gift. You shall bear the demeanor of a champion, and people will regard you as a person of great authority because your countenance reflects the power of your celestial father. Prepare yourself before venturing out to receive your blessings. Pray and contemplate on what you are going to say. Employ the wisdom I have bestowed upon you. Do not be afraid to speak. Fight when you must. Fall silent when silence is called for, but never cower when it comes to safeguarding your blessings and defending those you hold dear. Be vigilant in protecting your family and confront any coward who seeks to harm your home. My beloved child, behind every experience of happiness this world offers lies an invisible chain that imprisons your freedom, destroying the peace in your heart and eroding the beauty that dwells within you. For behind its pleasures there is only sadness, weeping and pain, distractions that entice with fleeting promises but, in reality, strip your soul of peace and fullness. Following the world and its desires is to follow a path of transgressions and sin, to stray from the loving design with which you were created. It is a turn towards paths leading to emptiness, internal discord, and distance from my healing presence. Sin is the distorted echo of misunderstood freedom, an illusion that whispers transient pleasures, but ultimately deprives you of true joy. Do not let that illusion deceive you, for true freedom resides in communion with me, in living according to my will, in experiencing the fullness of my love, Keep trusting and feeding on my word. Do not forget my promises that strengthen your soul. You can come to me with the same confidence you had in the past. I have not changed. I still love you. 
I hear you when you feel distant from me. You are going through a difficult time, but I am still by your side, as I was in your happy days. Do not feel bad if sometimes you have doubted. If you think that because of your mistakes, I have not listened to you. I am pleased to hear your sincere heart when my spirit convicts you and you come before me in repentance. There is a celebration in heaven when you sincerely repent of all error, sin, and wickedness. The situation you are going through today is not a punishment. I do not waste my time trying to destroy my children every time they make a mistake. I am love. I am your creator. I am your father. I know your imperfection. I hate sin and will not tolerate it, but I am willing to forgive you. Sin no more. Do not allow pride, hatred, or slander in your heart. Do not judge anyone without knowing them well. Do not repeat lies or raise false testimonies. Treat others as you want to be treated and do not put anything or anyone before me. I want to be the first, the only one, your Lord, your God. Value my words. Listen to them again. I do not want you to forget anything I am telling you. I am helping you get out of your situation. I am guiding your steps. I answered you before, and I will answer you again. Today I do it because I love you. I am not angry. I have no reason to be. You have left bad ways and I will restore you. Never stray from me. Always remain firm and seek to be closer to me each day. I want to pour much more of my tenderness over your life. My love for you is inexhaustible and will never end. I fill you with my wisdom at every moment. Every situation you face in your daily life, I am here to help you. When the sun goes down and the moon rises, I give you rest. I renew your energy while you enjoy a peaceful night's sleep. I take all your problems and worries into my powerful hands. One by one, I will solve them. There is nothing to fear. Together, we achieve the impossible. Keep walking in faith and trust in my promises. You are cherished and you are never alone. Amen.